O oh, kia ora e hoa, haere mai, come and join me. I could do with your help. I can't work out which of these books to read today. The Sad Banana or The Lonely Lemon. They're both in the same series, and this is the first one in the series. It's the Fruit Salad series. Shall we read this one first? Okay. The Sad Banana. So it's all about a sad... Banana, and it's by Tim Bateman, and it's illustrated by Jeff Bell. You are nice and comfy, ready for a story, aren't you? Well, snuggle down, and let's begin. In a big blue bowl on a bench far away sat a boisterous bunch of bananas at play. Bob loved to surf, Brady would brag, Billy would sing... But Bowie was sad. Which one's Bowie, do you think? This one here? Mm, I think so. Why am I sad, We Bowie asked Mum, as his buddies played ball and bathed in the sun. I'm the only banana in Big Yellow Town who can't turn his frown upside down. This is Bowie's mum. Have a look at the other bananas. Hmm, they're concentrating. Can you see the look in their eyes? Some of them are finding things a bit difficult. Hmm, or a little bit crazy. But they all have a smile. Their bananas are smiles, not upside down frowns. Oh, Bowie, said Mum as she scuttled about. I know just the bloke who can sort your frown out. He's bananas for sure, but a smile he'll find. I tell you, this chap is one of a kind. OK, Bowie, let's go. So Bowie and Mum went to Kiwi Fruit Key, round the laid-back lemon tree quietly past Peaceful Peach to the blueberry's favourite swimming beach. <laughs> Can you see all the blueberries swimming? Wow. Past Kiwi Fruit Key. Not the beach, Bowie said with an almighty groan. It's sticky and hot and it's covered in stones. OK, Bowie, let's go. They continue together along Poor Poor Place to the Raspberry's annual running race. <laughs> Look at them. Not the race, Bowie spoke with a heavy old sigh. There's too many people who want to say hi. OK, Bowie, let's go, said Mum. So down Mount Mellon to the fruity playground to the Pink Pears picnic where there's smiles all around. Look at those Pink Pears. They're having fun, aren't they? Not the playground. Bowie stomped his feet to his mum. The slide is too fast and the seesaw's no fun. Oh dear. OK, Bowie, let's go said his mum. Over the bridge to Coconut Cove, they travelled to Cherry's sweet treasure-filled trove. Not the treasure, Bowie bellowed, clearly appalled. There's nothing to do, as no Wi-Fi's installed. <sighs> OK, Bowie, let's go. <laughs> Look at mum. She's still smiling, though. So off they sauntered down Strawberry Street, where the mangoes all tangoed and shuffled their feet. You know I hate dancing, our friend Bowie scowled. This whirling and twirling should not be allowed. OK, Bowie, let's go.
as mum seemed to foresee, they left the marquee and returned to none other than Kiwi Fruit Key. Mum? Bowie asked with a look of surprise. This wise guy we're seeking, is he here in disguise? He is my dear Bowie. He's always been here. Come pull up a chair and it'll all become clear. Bowie sat on his bum and in waddled mum, a mirror in hand, the colour of plum. <laughs> Can you see Bowie's behind? <laughs> well, he is sitting on his bum, isn't he? The boy in the mirror has all that you seek. Look deep down inside, Bowie. Come take a peek. Your thoughts may wander, but please can you ponder your great-grandpa Owie from over down yonder. There's his great-grandpa. Does grandpa have a smile or a frown? A big smile. Now great-grandpa Oe was well known to find the good in the bad, the great in the grind. Where most saw a thorn, he saw a rose. Wherever he went, it was fun that he chose. He chose to find the fun. Wow. Bowie looked in the mirror and started to see that indeed it was he who held the true key. To upturn his frown, his mind had to flip to choosing to see the good in each trip. Can Bowie do it, do you think? Can he turn his frown upside down by himself? Let's see. The park can be fun, the dance can be too, and even the beach can be swell, that is true. Bowie opened his eyes, and what a surprise! There staring back, and just the right size, was a smile. He found his smile. Bowie never forgot that in good times and bad, it was he who could choose to be happy, not sad. With strength from within and a grin on his chin, he was finally happy in his very own skin. <laughs> it just happened to be a banana skin. <laughs> what a cool story. He found his own smile. Hey, in the back of the book, there are a few fruitful thoughts. Turn your frown upside down. Look on the bright side. Who is someone that you admire? You can choose how you respond. Happiness comes from within. What are three things that you love? When we think about things that we love, that can make us happy, can't it? It can give us a smile. Such simple things, but they're really, really important. And that's the end of the story. Wow! Did you know that you could turn your frown upside down? You can. You can create your own happiness. Tim Bateman works very hard in an organisation to try and ensure that everybody knows that they can turn their frown into a smile. If you want to find out more about this book, you can visit batemanbooks.co.nz or visit the link I'll put below in the description. That's an organisation that Tim's a part of. He's working hard to help everybody feel good about themselves and about the lives that they live. Hmm, what a cool story. Hey, do you think we should try this one in a couple of weeks' time? I think so too. I'll come back again soon though. I'll find us another good story. I hope it made you feel good. 
made me feel good. You being here makes me feel good. Kakite. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs>